Hi friends, it's Ian here with Ord Code Consulting. As you know from watching other videos or my work in your community, I get the great opportunity to travel throughout parts of Canada, the United States, and even other countries in the world to help organizations and communities work on preventing and ending homelessness. One of the things that I love doing is raising the questions that seem to have answers that elude me. And today's going to be one of those episodes where I'm just going to raise some questions. You see, it's a really warm day out where we are. So warm and the sun is so blazing that we found a little bit of shade to film this particular episode. And it's so dang hot out, I'd like to talk about cold weather alerts or hypothermia alerts or cold blues or any other name that your community uses when you respond in the winter time to people experiencing homelessness. Sometimes communities have winter response plans that go all season. Sometimes their winter response plan requires the temperature to dip below a certain threshold or the wind chill to get to below a certain threshold or an adverse condition like a freezing rain or a blizzard. And I'm not opposed to any of those things. I think keeping people alive when there's adverse weather is a really good idea. But it does make me wonder why we don't have the same sort of responses in all other seasons. Are we only worried about people experiencing homelessness dying when it's really cold out? What about during the spring and the summer and the fall? Could we have a different response then? And if so, what would that look like in your community? I think back to the early days of the COVID response. So worried were we about people experiencing homelessness that many community suddenly leased up all the apartments they could possibly find or rented all the motel or hotel rooms they could possibly find or put in place other facilities, community centers, gymnasiums, etc., to put more cots and mats or beds for people experiencing homelessness. The system, it turns out, when given the right resources and the right political push could respond at a larger scale to homelessness. But as we've come further and further away from that immediate crisis, so many of those initiatives, not all, but so many have gone by the wayside. And now individuals and couples and families are left yet again to live in tents or in their cars or RVs or ATM vestibules or grates on the sidewalk, places not fit for permanent human habitation, I guess is what I'm getting at. And those places generally are not safe, nor are they appropriate. And yet, that's our dominant response. What if we actually thought about system capacity as a year-long need and the health and welfare of people experiencing homelessness throughout every single season? What would your community do differently then? What resources would you need and what political support would you need? Because that's the conversation we should be having. Not what are we going to do just when it gets cold. What do we need to do differently year round? So here's a bit of what I think are the reasons why that would be a good idea. One, should improve health and safety of people experiencing homelessness. Two, should help us improve connectivity to case management resources, housing opportunities, healthcare resources, income supports substance use recovery programs, assist with life skills development, help ensure people have the opportunity to meet others who might be interested for housing that they could roommate with, and the list goes on. In the absence of that, so much of the work is street outreach workers going to find people or going to encampments that might be far flung from each other. So there's an efficiency that would also come from having people in a more structured interim solutions rather than scattered all about. We've proven we can do better. So the question is, why don't we? Some homework. Engage with your elected officials, your policymakers, and ask them, is the life of a person experiencing homelessness worth more in the winter time than it is any other time of the year? And if the answer to that is no, then Ask why we don't have the resources and response year round. Is it just a matter of money and political will? 
Or does someone know something about the population that we just don't know? Because the last time I checked, in community after community after community, people experiencing homelessness were actually dying year round. Thanks for watching. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.